<laughs> fuck. Yeah, yeah, get it right. right. Get in here, the motherfucker. Yeah, motherfucker. What the fuck? Motherfucker. 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 Yo, let's get it. Yo, let's get it. Oh boy, now they see me popping. Oh, now they wanna be friends. I'm not stopping. Stop Last it. year you didn't even like me. I remember cause you even tried to fight me. Oh boy, now they see me popping. Falling in love, honey pennies dropping. Last year you didn't even like me. I remember Facebook, you denied me. This is Candy the Clown, also known as Serenity Gemini, and you're watching It's Just Music with Sicko ENT. Thank you, yo. Of course, anytime. Homework always in trouble, consequences always double. The teachers always hating me, the things that someone say to me. You'll never be nothing when I'm out to be shit. To admit that you were wrong is the eight one stick. Mother shit have been made, like you made me do. Instead of helping me where problems are. LB Sigmund. Yeah, I got five kids in a house An ex-wife that won't shut her mouth Three babies I don't get to see I got child support and they're bothering me I got bills stacking high to the ceiling Got a hoopty for a ride, this is how I feel And I'm stuck in this town, got nowhere to go I really wanna get out, I got new headphones These headphones, they take me to a place so far away And I travel every day, don't wanna come back Unless that music stays These headphones, they calm my nerves When I feel like Another day that I wanna get high Responsibility's the reason why I can't So I rap to this microphone I'm climbing to the top I'm gonna claim my throne This is it, go ENT What's up, y'all? This the motherfucker Shadow King What's up, man? It's your boy Liquid Assassin, man I'm gonna go ENT Yo, he is real What up, y'all? This is One Time Yo, what's up? It's Cole Hill, a.k.a. Killer C Oh, I'm Ratchet just in case rapping ground ball and you're watching it's just music on the signature series network and you're watching it's just music it's just music on signature series network west coast representer man signature series Signa signature series network on Ro roku tv man you got a lot of words for a stoner man you got me tripping up in <laughs> You're watching is just music on Signature Series Network. LB, let it rock, baby. Here with LB. We out of here. East Coast, Shadow Army. Check him out, man. See for yourself, man. Catch some, catch some good vibes and some good waves, man. One time. This is Chiz, and I'm about. Wicked. <laughs> what up, y'all? LB Sydney making another video for my sickos. Once again, I got my boy Ricky with me. What Say up, what's up, y'all? What up? I don't know, man. Let's do it a little different, man. You want to play a game? Play a game. Oh, shit. Where's this fucking mask? I'm sick of COVID. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Kind of game we play? Juggalos against Sanity. Okay. All right. There's normally okay. four people that play, but you can fucking make up your own damn rules. Right. All right. I don't know how the fuck we're gonna play this with two people. I ain't got a fucking clue. I really don't know how we're gonna play it. I'm just fuck it, dude. What's just, the, explain it to me, Dan. What's the idea of it? Here, you'll just pick one. Yeah. All right, and then I'll pick an answer for it, and you tell me if it's funny or not. All right. All right. All right. Just, that'll work. Here. If it's it, it, if it's not funny, you tell me I suck or something. Huh? <laughs> Here, man. <laughs> I'll pick a ran. That's what I do. I'll pick a random card. You know what I'm saying? Right. All right. Ready? <laughs> Said how I lost my virginity is an amusing story. Let's just say it involves blank. And a little bit of blank too. So I'll pick that card and I'll pick this card. So it involves a little bit of. Make sure that's two. There you go. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, snap. Crotchless panties. Cornholing a... What? What? Oh, what, what? I don't even know what the fuck that yeah. is. Yeah. Um, per, what is that? Predi- what? Look, we're going to pick a different card. <laughs> we ain't smart enough for this shit, Rob. <laughs> the fuck? We don't even know what that word says, bro. That's, that's you got to dumb it down, man. Yeah, man. That's, that's Come on, man. We're juggalos here. We ain't fucking educated people. Some of us are. Some of us are. Hold on. Hold on. I might be high. Hold on. I don't know how to read. Core holding a Pomeranian in public. Okay. Pomerania. Yeah, it is Pomerania. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I mean, if we take our time. Yeah. yeah but who the fuck wants to take their time and figure it out? It took us five minutes to figure out how to say that word. <laughs> Oh, I'm stoned, Here's the man. answer. Here's the answer. I'm stoned, yo. A burning rebel flag. Whoa. A burning rebel flag. So what? what is the question now? Yeah, we got to read that again. How I lost my virginity is an amazing story. Let's just say it involves a burning rebel flag and a little bit of crotchless, crotchless panties. panties. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. I like that. Yeah, yeah that's a crazy story. Yes. I can only imagine. <laughs> I like that. Do another one. Let's do another one. <laughs> we'll do another one. Let's do another one. Let's do another, another one. Well, let's introduce the artist first, okay? Right, we'll do, right, we'll right. do the artist. Right, right, all right. All right, so, Candy the Clown. Wicked queen, you better bow down. Been too woke, I can't rest now. You don't want the smoke, about to blow it down. Stressed out, and now I got a cup, another out. Sicker than the COVID-19. Quarantine, illish to the honey iced tea. You ever seen spitting hot fire? Spray him with the kerosene. Wicked queen, chopping up the beat like a guillotine. Wicked queen, you better bow down. Been too woke, I can't rest now. Like I wish she would uh I wish she had like somebody that would help her record her stuff. Right. You know? Right. Uh, I know I know that they do a lot of their stuff by themselves and stuff. This shit is dope. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That's it. Dope as fuck. But it could be so much doper. Right. You know what I mean? I understand, yeah. 
You agree? Yeah. 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 It's, it's dope. The way it is now, I give it like a seven. Yeah. Because I know that that bitch could be a ten. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Surpassed that. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's just music critic boy, bullshit ass shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Who the fuck gives a fuck about my opinion? I'm LB Sydney. Welcome to It's Just Music. Thanks for getting on. Go ahead and introduce yourself for the people. For the people that don't know who you are, geez, stuttering. Oh, well, what's good? LB Sickening, um, whoop whoop and all that jazz. It's whoop. your girl, Candy the Clown, also known as Serenity Gemini. Well, welcome to It's Just Music. So what first got you into music? Uh, I think it was uh, being in high school and rapping at lunch tables, like just making beats or because we were fucking bored, Word. just being bored at lunch tables, just making beats and trying to make rhymes that hit the beat and made, like, that were funny. It was mostly jokes. Jokes about the fucking stupid-ass teacher that we were mad at, you know. Right, right. Who inspired you? Uh, my husband uh, probably inspired me to start doing it for real, not just as a hobby or for fun anymore. Gifted right. 39, he inspired me. Uh, he was the one that was like, you know, you really got something that I haven't seen a lot of females or anyone have, and you should run with it and take this seriously. And then I did. Yeah, I agree. I wish that uh, you lived closer to me, to be honest, because I would throw you on sicko. Oh, awesome. That is such a great compliment. I'm glad. I would. Um, awesome. I, be I believe that with a little guidance and a little help that you could be something cool, something dope. Um, there is one song out of, out of the five that you sent in that I kind of dogged. You know, you'll see when you see when you see the end of the video. Um, OK. You know. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of your husband. I'm prepared for anything. I, you know, I'm a fan of your husband's. I don't like everything he does. You know, I, I don't like everything everybody does. You know what I mean? But who am I? Right? I'm just, just some asshole with an opinion like everybody else. Right? So, I idolize like Twisted and ICP, but I don't like everything Twisted puts out. Like not every single song I like. So I can kind of understand that. Like regardless of how much you're cool with somebody or how much you like somebody, like sometimes it's just not what you want to hear. So you don't need you don't need yes men in your corner. And it's just music is not about yes men. I'm not going to sit here and tell you you're dope if you're not dope. You're dope. Right. You're dope. But not always. You know, um. It's everybody, man. Like, I, I got 500 songs, and I always say maybe 200 of them are good. Absolutely. Now, there's a couple uh, songs that I think that I put out that I wasn't too proud of, actually. So Right. There's quite a few of mine. Um, the one I hate the most is uh, a parody song I did called She Shit on My Sheets. I did it, like, <laughs> years ago, man, and it's so stupid. Um, <laughs> But it, people still talk about it around here, you know? It is what it is. I hate it. Some people like it, you know? I don't know. It's just an opinion, you know? Um, and, and those negative opinions, uh, they make me strive harder and work harder, you know? And I, I hope that, I hope that uh, even though you got one, one out of five, dude, come on, a negative, you know, that's good, dude. You know, that's right. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll, I'll take that any day. Yes, for sure. Absolutely. Because like I said, there's two out there actually right now that I'm ext I'm just really not proud of. Like, um, I'm proud of all the effort that went into it, but I'm not proud of the finished result. Right. So, so that I'll take that. And in one out of the five, you're just like, okay, all right. Well, I guess I did something right then. Right. I'll work on that, make it better, fix it, right. make it fresh. Word. You always, you always can redo them and make them better, man. Um, you can always do better. That's a mindset everybody needs to have is you can always do better, you know? So can what I take a guess at which one it is? Yeah, go ahead. I mean, is it the one, is it killer with the kid crusher feature? Yeah. I thought I knew it. That was the one that I'm not really that proud of. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, and I love Kid Crusher. I even dogged Kid Crusher. To be honest, to be honest, um, I, if I remember right, because I, I mean, I made this show about a week ago. If I remember right, you came the hardest on the entire track. But it's still, the track as a whole is still. It's, it's kind of. Uh, yeah, it's like, hmm. Like, I feel like, did you guys pay Kid Crusher for that? Uh, I don't know. Like, I have no idea what happened. They just asked me to fucking spit, so I spit. Right. Uh, and then they were kind of like, yo, do you got it done? Do you got it done? And I'm a procrastinator, so of course I didn't. It seems like it seems like um, Kid Crusher was either throwing the beat and just was just threw you guys a really shitty verse, or he was given that beat with the verse on it. He wasn't feeling the verse, got paid for it, so he just here you go. You know what I mean? That's kind I've, of. That's not the first time I've heard that um, opinion. I've heard that as well from a few other people. I'm just personally not even proud of my own like what I did on the track, you know, and I'm, I've, I really feel like I rushed it, even though I took so long to like send it back to them. Like, I feel like I, I had taken a little bit, just a little bit longer. I probably would have killed it, but I feel like at the same time, that beat was really hard. I'm not used to shit like that at all. So that was completely out of my element when I just, I'm just starting out. Yo fam, when you get something like that next time, like, even if it's shitty, if you if you decide you're going to be on the track for the, for whoever you're doing it for, like make sure that you come the hardest because even if the track's shitty, if you come the hardest, you're going to be the one that outshines everybody. So they're going to be like, "Who's that?" You know what I'm saying? Right. Like I want to know who that is. Like there's a track on uh, on this review show that is extremely extremely impressive. Like you're up there with the, you know, like the. Um, Snow Prada, you know, uh, you're up there with like Razakel, all other people, like dope, like you're up there, dude. But you just gotta, I don't know what you gotta do. You know what you gotta do. You know what I mean? I'm trying to figure it out. I'm kind of like trial and erroring it at, right now, still. I wish, um, yeah. So I want everybody to see the progress and the growth. That's I, what I want. I so wish you were closer to me. So wish you were closer. You and your husband, man. So wish you were closer to me. I started like trying to uh, fix up my own beats. Actually, I started trying to keyword try and like ma mixing and mastering. But um, there's a lot of I realized exactly how much work goes into that. And regardless of how good I think I'll ever get, I don't think I ever would have that much time and patience to sit there. And that's why it takes a team. <sighs> it yeah, it does. It takes a team. Not everybody can do you know what the Tech Nines do. What the Joe Bruce's do what you know not everybody can do it. it it's extremely hard it's um it's devastating on personal relationships it's isolating you lose friends you lose family members you gain enemies it, it's hard I, I really think that anybody that really truly wants to be in the music industry is kind of insane maybe I'm a little nuts you know um, <laughs> it is what it is uh it, it is it's crazy Yo, what up? It's Jerry Robinson with Strange Music, and you're watching It's Just Music on the Signature Series Network on Roco TV. Let's go. What's up, everybody? This is Skits Crave, and you're watching It's Just Music on Signature Series Network. <laughs> yeah. Shout out True Styles. Yeah. Mafia, nigga. Hey, man, real talk. I mean that. When they train shit. Sicko A&T. I'm the baddest in the planet, have the planet, don't panic So shoot an abandoned, like damn it, they can't even stand it Make a vanish like a Atlantis I'm the baddest in the planet, have the planet, don't panic So shoot an abandoned, like damn it, they can't even stand it You know what I mean, but <laughs> Anyways, man, let's play another one, you wanna go another round? Yeah Alright Pick a card, any card, any motherfucking card Destiny? What, what, what? The Joker's card Is it Destiny? Ooh. Oh, rude boy! Shocked the wrestling crowd when he busted out blank as he came off the top of the ropes backwards. You know who rude boy is, don't you? Yeah, right. of course. Pick a card, any card, any motherfucking card. The Joker's card. Oh, 
thugs on my nuts. Rude Boy shocked the wrestling crowd when he busted out bugs on my nuts as he came off the top rope backwards. Whoa. Yo nuts, we want your nuts. We'll Woo. itch and scratch and bite your nuts. Yo nuts, we want your nuts. Please all, oh, please fuck dirty sluts. Do you want to be on TV? Showcase to thousands of new fans all around the world? Well, here at Signature Series Network, we offer a variety of content to showcase your talent to put your brand on the map. Get your music videos on shows like Vibin' with K. Will. Or get your music video on Blaze Hunter's Top 10 Music Video Countdown Show and get that number one spot. Be interviewed live by the one and only Mr. Cooper on Combos with Mr. Cooper. And let your fans and thousands of new fans know all about your brand. Find out if your song is going to get boasted or roasted with the homie Spider on Boast or Roast. And there's a whole lot more. Have your music showcased on Sicko ENT's It's Just Music. Hosted by Mr. Sicko himself, Bell V. Sickman. Have your music broken live by the record breaker himself, the world famous DJ Epps. Hey yo Epps, let these mother know. Put some respect on your own name. Fire TV, Roku TV, the Signature Series Network. You wanna stand out from the rest? Claim your spot today. The shift is here. The Signature Series Network. Subscribe today. Nice. Let's do another one. Nice. You wanna do another one? Yeah, yeah. Let's do another one. This game's fun as fuck. Hell yeah. Let me show you that. Pick a card, any card, any motherfucking card. In order to become a ninja master, you must propose strength, cunning, and blank. I'm gonna pick this one. Oh, I'm gonna pick shit. this one. Oh, and that's shit. the answer. A blunt like a tree trunk. Woo! In order to become a ninja master, you must possess strength, cunning, and a blunt like a tree trunk. Yes! Yes, right there! That touched my soul! <laughs> that touched my soul! Ah, ah, round three, round three. Oh, yeah. Lucky number three, lucky oh, number three. Yeah. These are funny, man, right? Fuck it, they're mm. funny, right? I like them. I like them a lot. I like them a lot. <laughs> I thought our first date was a bust until the casual, casual mention of blank seemed to light a fire in her eyes. Let me see. Until the casual mention of blank. A cream pie. Yes. I thought our first date was a blunt. What? Ah. I can't even fucking talk. I know. Alright, man, so let's get back in this music. Killer. Symbolic J featuring a bunch of fucking people. And Kid Crusher. That's my dude. Yeah. Official lyric video 2021. Check it out. Like the shouting like a couple thousand men I heard a voice say Look at the victims They ain't this delicious We slaughter and split them So viciously twisted Then we be with this And they screaming like bitches We wipe them all out Like you do with the dishes But the next time we do We gon' bring a sidekick By the name of Kid Crusher And we gon' slide quick We just bang on them hoes Like a thing at the night All the way up Until the sun breaks Like the light That man I'm a 
Wait to wake up and see the fries. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go first. Yeah. Be real. I mean, it was all right. I, 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 I give it probably a five. I mean, I just feel like I, I feel like Kid Crusher threw them a bullshit ass verse. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Um, I feel like Kid Crush, whatever they... S- the first dude need... No. <laughs> You're right. You're right. No. Uh, dude. Right. I'm not going to see him kiss everybody's ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the fucking... I that mean, track was garbage, in my like opinion. They was trying too hard. Right. Trying too hard. I'll give that shit a four. Yeah. I'll give it a five. Uh, even Kid Crusher, dog. Like, yeah. what the fuck? Like y'all could have did so much better. Yeah, he should have. He could have did so. He could have been the one on that, the only one on the track. You know, what that saying? was that dope. Killed. And I thought that that that's what was going to happen. What was that fucking line? He said some really whack line. Fright was the end word. <laughs> Man, I, like I like these guys. They're new. You know what I'm saying? Right. They're trying. They're doing their thing. Right. Let's check out this third video. You're, or you want to play cards first? You wanna play cards. Third video, fuck yeah, the cards. Let's do the video. You, sh- you should definitely read from Crime to Christ, uh, Killacy's book. That's oh, nice. I've I've heard of Killacy. Yeah, he's he's one of the OGs in the Juggle world. Uh, he was signed uh, with Liquid Assassin. Um, Ray- that rings a bell as well. Yeah, with strange music and shit. It was dope. Bird. Yeah. Uh, look. No, I think I just started following Liquid Assassin on Snapchat. Or oh, that's what it looks like. Okay, I'll definitely. It's a book. Yeah, it's dope. Christ. that looks dope. Yeah, it's dope. He talks about a lot of this stuff, man. And if if you know the history of strange music, it, it's pretty dope. Yeah, I don't know the history completely. Just like the very basic, you know, that it started out with like tech and uh, trap. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. You know, just the very basic general knowledge. Um, and, you know, everything he says in his lyrics that he tells, you know, when he talks about it, I understand that much. But, I mean, I haven't really seen too many interviews, I don't think. So, I don't know. I feel like I fucking know you guys. I've been watching you guys for so long, for real. Like, <laughs> like, I feel like we've kicked it and, like, <laughs> well, you know what I mean? I don't know. Hell yeah, man. Fucking well, you were also in the um the one uh, Juggalo chat that I was in with Christy Dredd. I, I don't know if she invited you or what. Yeah, she invited me. Um, I left, and, and it was it had nothing to do with anybody in Pacific. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, it, it's kind of I don't know. It's, uh, you don't even have to go into details. I get it already. 
yeah. I already get it. Um, like I usually only go in there to talk to Chrissy. And then I saw you were in there one night and I was like, oh, I would, I should probably say hi and pop in. And I forget, I think I was walking my dog and I was like, well, I'll do it when I get back in and I have internet connection. And then you were gone. Groups, groups are cool sometimes. Um, you know what I mean? But sometimes there's just people that are dickheads and, you know, aren't their, their motives aren't. And we still like promote your stuff. Like, yeah. yo, check out my homie LV. Like he's, he's doing a big, yo, go check him out. Yeah, man, it's, it's really hard. Like my mental state's fucked up right now because everything's like starting to pop. You know what I mean? And if you, I don't know if you ever really watched anybody blow up, man, but it, I've watched it and I never thought that certain things would ever happen to me or I would let it get to me. But man, it's impossible not to. Yeah, yeah I mean, I think I saw you like live your dream on stage. That was amazing. Right. Like, oh my God, you're my hero for that shit. <laughs> Thank Seriously. You. I'm so I wish y'all, dude. I was just telling somebody yesterday, I was like, yo. How dope would it be if one day I could like open up for fucking Fright Fest by Twisted or some shit? Like, you know what I mean? I was like, oh, it's just fucking pipe dreams, but that would be fucking dope, right? Right. Dude. And then I was thinking, I was thinking about it, and I was like, maybe it's not that much of a pipe dream. Look at LB; he just performed in front of ICP. Like, what? Right. Like, I was just talking to somebody about it, like literally if this I, morning. And that's that's the message, dog. Like, if I do it, you can too. You know, don't give up. Yeah, that's that's the thing, and it's like Jared said it the other day on the on it's just music. I think it was number one hundred four. Um, it, it depends on you, man. Like, how long are you willing to let people spit in your face and and kick you in your ass and tell you you suck and that you ain't shit, you're never gonna be nothing? How how much are you willing to put up with that before you give up? Because winners win and losers lose, and winners just keep it moving, you know. That's a very good way to look at it. It's a great perspective. You, you can't let it get to you. You can't let the haters fucking win. Never. Never. Um, I'm, I feel like I'm really lucky to have, like, a not, not enough people even know me to have haters yet. <laughs> They're about to. <laughs> it's just dope. This is going to be a different interview because I'm, like, treating you this like you're my friend. <laughs> no, well, I mean, that's how I always come at it. Like, that's how I look at you as as, as a homie. So. We are, dude. Uh, you're day one, you know? Right. Like, you're just, my husband is like, oh, you know, LB, that guy, or you should probably really be friends with him. I've known him forever. Uh, he's a real juggalo homie. And then I didn't really even remember that you did music until after that. I was like, oh, shit, that's right. He does do music. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I was like, and hey, that shit's dope, though. What's your creative I, what's your creative process like? Do you like oh my god, yo. I have a I want to make a song and a music video about it and call it the process. And it's like that's the whole point is to show all the shit that I go through in like making a song and or a music video and how I get my ideas because I think it's just so wild and crazy that nobody would believe it, you know, unless they literally saw it. Oh, yeah. But um, I think, like, I get a lot of my creative process goes through, um, uh, okay, so, uh, like, the, my ideas will come to me for a song, and then once I have that idea in my head, somebody will send me a beat, and then, like, once I get the beat, um, if it matches up with the same idea that I had, you know, then I'll come up with, like, the flow of it before I even make up the words, and then I'll do, like, a whole bunch of fuck shit, like, fuck around shit, like, I, in the middle of, like, my, my process. Like, I got to get right. Like, I got to go bowling or, like, watch a movie or uh, play video games. Some type of procrastinating, like, get me in the mind state type of thing zone. Um, I can't just, like, sit there and stare at a wall until something comes at me. It doesn't work that way for me. Right. Um, but usually my best ideas come to me when I'm out, like, out and about hanging out with people. That's usually when shit comes to me. And then I'll be like, oh shit, I gotta write that down. Or when I'm uh when I'm taking a shit <laughs> or when I'm in the shower, that's when I get like literally I've written a whole song in the bathroom. <laughs> well, it's mostly when you're by yourself. That's a question I usually ask later. Well, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't usually write in front of other people. Like I'll write when I'm by myself, but I do get a lot of ideas when I'm like hanging out with other people. Like it'll be like uh I 
like our conversation, like the what they say to me, you know, that'll end up being like a you know a verse for my song, like this is what they say about me. And it'll be like really what somebody was saying about me when I was talking to them. You know, is your hair green? It's green. Sometimes it's blue. Sometimes. <laughs> All right. I'm not tripping then. All right. <laughs> yeah. What's one message you would like to give your fans and only your fans, not the rest of the world. Hmm. Just my fans. Um, don't water yourself down. And don't be afraid to stand up for what you fucking believe in. But at the same time, realize there's a time and a place for everything. Word. I agree with that. What up, y'all? This is LB Signy, and you're watching Signature Series Network, the home of my new show. It's just music. Make sure you check me out. Woo woo. LB yeah, I got five kids in a house, an ex-wife that won't shut her mouth. Three babies I don't get to see, I got child support and they're bothering me. I got bills stacking high to the ceiling, got a hoopty for a ride, this is how I feel. And I'm stuck in this town, got nowhere to go, I really want to get out, I got new headphones. These headphones, they take me to a place so far away, and I travel every day, don't want to come back unless that music stays. These headphones, they calm my nerves when I feel like dirt or when I let somebody get hurt. Gifted and Susie featuring fucking the picture official music video. Cindy, <laughs> Serenity Gemini. Hmm. I think. Introduce a little energy. Upset the established order. LG, you about to get him with this show. So since it's luxury, I know this life is harder. The circle got smaller, but the fam got bigger. Yeah. When the shit got harder, the circle got smaller, but the fam got thick and dick. See, that's a much better production, much much better quality. They actually sound dope. Yeah. I give that one a nine. Yeah, I give that one a nine. It was dope. You know uh, what I'm saying? Yeah, dope as hell. Somebody here. Wanna say hi to him? That was perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna put my thing back on. Put thing on. I'm put my thing back put on. The, put the thing what back on. What is that? It's my microphone. The mic. The tiny one? Yeah, it's a tiny microphone, huh? Alright, I need you to go in your bedroom mm -hmm. and stuff because this is music you don't need to listen to. What's your most useless talent? Um, I got a lot. Uh... <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> juggling. Juggling juggler, huh? Uh, yeah, that's my most, one of my most useless talents. Oh, and random uh, UK Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings trivia. I love Harry Potter. And probably being able to quote Deadpool movies. <laughs> Not that much of a Deadpool fan. I just don't dig it. So useless. <laughs> that's pretty useless. <laughs> What do you think you'd be doing right now if it wasn't for music? I'd probably be miserable. Um, <laughs> I would, I don't know what I would be doing, but I know that I wouldn't feel as comfortable as I do now. I don't, I don't think I feel like myself. I would probably be hiding, hiding who I am from everyone. Like, cause I wouldn't be me at all if it wasn't for music, like being able to do it at least regardless of who hears it or getting it out there. Like if I wasn't able to actually just do it, like make it and like at least make it sound good to myself, uh, I would not be a happy person. I would be a very miserable person just holding my feelings in and bottling it all up and just keeping my genius, clever, little intricate puns to myself. You know, I would be really upset. I think I'd probably explode eventually. I don't know why your answer made me think of this, but uh, what's the longest amount you've ever gone without hearing any music? <laughs> uh, 
maybe almost 24 hours. I don't, like not even a full 24 hours, probably like 19, 16 hours. Yeah. That, that's bad. only because I remember, um, no, not even because it was a plane flight and I still had my headphones on half the flight and then, in and then they died. So no, not even that long. Yeah, the longest I ever went without hearing a song was four months. Wow. Yeah, they had, you know, locked up situation. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. And when I finally heard a song, it, it was it was it was odd. It was uh I wasn't in that song. Like even in the psych word, I found a way. You know, I made friends with the nurses and would ask them to play certain shit on their YouTube phone. So they would have to sneak that shit because they were afraid to get in trouble. But they like I know how to talk to people, I guess. Right. Yeah, um, the first time I heard it, I started to cry. It was um, it was a song my mom wants me to play at her funeral. Aww. Yeah, um, Simple Man, the song Simple Man. Oh, that's a great song, dude. That's a fucking classic. Yeah. Maybe one day uh, I'll find the right producer to remake it or something. That'd be cool. Pretty cool as fuck. Like you're going to like do a cover of it? Yeah, like, re like redo it. I don't know if you ever uh, heard That'd be sick. I don't know if you ever heard, um, it's a remake I did of the Paul McCartney songs called Band on the Run. I, I think I named it Four Walls or something like that. See, of my homies in the scene. What's this, man? My dog, I can't even believe there's money stacked to the ceiling of my crib. Brand new car, got the jungle gym for my kid. And I always feed them when my homies say they hungry. They say you can't feel happiness because of money. But I say you a dummy if that's it, boss. This is just a dream anyway. I wonder what it costs to be the boss to run the show. Lies moves, we just go. Ride low, at the Chevy is scared of me. I'm here at Freddy. I'm on my roof this night. I can see the stars. Love can fade away like a dream that's a far. You want to show that, but you're not her type. She got you feeling like you want to go grab a knife. And in your life, but that's all. Write another rhyme and just pray it pays off. I have not heard that one. I redid a, a track with, uh, um, what's her name? I can't remember her name. I can't either. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that probably don't help. <laughs> Diana Ross. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's hard to forget you on my mind It's a game and it's Russia roulette The fight's true, battles makes our souls start to rebel Pick myself back up, dust off for the grapple It's a hassle, you live and you learn We both made mistakes, but the fire still burns And I'm missing you, girl That, oh, wow, I love that, actually That's pretty fresh with that shit in the, that, Is that the Diana Ross sample in the background? Yeah, of it, the whole, like, it's kind of cartoonish shit, too And what's weird is, like, uh YouTube made me take out the hook in the very beginning, but kept the hook throughout the rest of the shit. So I had to like cut the very beginning of the fucking video. Stupid. Dumb. Well, it sounds pretty fucking dope. I dig it. Yeah. I would have never thought to put something together like that. That's different. I like that. Yeah, you never, you never know. You know what I mean? What would sound dope? And I just play with music. It's fun. All right, back to your yeah. area. <laughs> <laughs> So name your five most favorite horrorcore rappers. I don't even know what the fuck horrorcore really is anymore today because I thought that Gino Ski would be considered horrorcore, but he's not. Like so, uh, is Necro horrorcore? Um, uh, I guess like we gotta say we gotta go with Isham, of course, right? Okay, of course. Have to, have to say Isham, um, and then I would say Necro. Um, if Twisted and ICP are horrorcore, throw them right in there. And Gmo Ski, if he's horrorcore. But I think he came out and said that he wasn't, and everyone else is like, no, he's not, blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, he did say in that one song, like, I'm the illest horrorcore rapper or something like that. So I don't fucking know anymore. I'm confused. Right. <laughs> I don't really check out Gmo Ski that much. Um, he's got a few good tracks. I'm, I'm not that big of a fan, you know? 
Well, when it comes to like listening to like angry, I want to kill people music. That's one of my go tos right now. Okay. I'm not. I'm. I've never really dug into his music. You know. It happens. Like I understand. I get it. Trust me, I get it. There's like a. I'm not really into a, who is it that uh, was signed right now to Magic Ninja Entertainment. Uh, I'm not that big into Gibby Sites. Like maybe I just haven't heard enough of him yet. But right. Right. he's he's dope. But he's I'm just not, not. I'm not into him either. I haven't. I haven't dove into his music yet. Just like Gmo. Right. So I mean, you know, I get it. Yeah. Um. I didn't really do- dive into um. Scum. I didn't really dive into Scum until I had Scum on the show. You know, um, I've known about Scum for a really long time. He's been on my IG. He's been on my Facebook. I've dabbled into his music throw over the years. You know, so why not? Let, let's have him on the show. And then I dabbled. Then I really dove into it. And I and I get I get Scum's music. He's he's different, man. Like he really does music for himself, and I think that's why a lot of people dig it. I'm surprised by his like crazy loyal fan club dude that blows my mind that's where i'm just like yo props like all hats off to scum for that because i see niggas getting the shit tattooed on them and everything and i'm like yo like that's what's up so i that that's amazing to me that's how i started really like like that's when i really started to notice scum myself for sure yeah respect fans are super loyal i love that do you have any upcoming shows coming up? I have a few. Uh, I have one coming up on in May. I believe it is May 8th. I believe. Uh, it's not just my show. It's a G39 production show. So it's my whole team. But I am going to be spotlighted. So that'll be my first show, actually. And then my second show coming up. Oh, that first one is going to be in Martinsburg, West Virginia. Uh, and my second show will be in October. I'm performing at Raven Fest, which is a big old music festival. It's mostly a bunch of like punk rock bands. And it's in South Carolina. It's in uh, at Benford Brewing Company. It's like this big uh, uh, beer brewery tap house venue. It's awesome. It's amazing. And um, it's Drowned Out is like putting on this festival. They're in charge of it. And um, they invited me, Dan O'Dillinger of Drowned Out, was actually who my beanie's by right now. Um, he invited me to come perform um, for this year's Raven Fest after being there and hanging out last year. It was really great. So I'm excited about that. That's gonna. There's going to be like, I think like 20 or 30 bands there. Like, it's going to be fun. It's a two-day festival. And I'm probably going to be the only like rock perform or rap performance there. So I'll definitely stand out. Yeah, for sure. Um, some of the most memorable concerts I've ever been a part of. Them. I was the only rapper. Um, I did a Mushroom Head show. I did a Ventana show. Uh, there's, there's a few. Sh- there's a few of them, man. And when you're the only rapper, if you get a good response, that's that's fucking dope, dude. There's 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 honestly no feeling like that. It, Cause it's like you're so scared like dude i'm at an all rock venue all rock yeah. all rock show i'm about to spit them some wicked shit <laughs> Fucking right hope that i don't get booed off stage i don't have a band with me i don't have it's just me and my fucking microphone <laughs> i'm not <gasps> and <it was> like <laughs> and it, it, it was scary i'm not gonna lie it was dope but i had a good response man it was dope um, word has it, I don't know how true it is, but word has it is one of the band members of uh, Ventana saw the stupid music video for She Shit on My Sheets and, <laughs> and asked for me to come. Now what you think? Now what you gonna do when she shit on you? Better have angel soft bitchy poops on you. Yeah, sick dude, dude, like she bait ink glue. Now you are eating bowel movements too, cause you want sick dude and you know it's true. Don't say that I'm rude cause I gotta intrude. Don't fuck up, watch your belly do come. She shit on my sheets, she shit on my sheets. I fucked her in the ass and she shit on my sheets. No way. Yeah. That's kind of awesome. <laughs> I don't know how true that is, but that's what uh, Rero told me. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Maybe he digged your sense of humor. She shit on my sheets. <laughs>
Alright, so check it out, man. This is the last track that we're going to play by them. Normally we do five, but, right. Right. you know. No trespassing, official music video, lyric video. That song right there is the reason why I wanted to get her on the show. Like she said in the interview, man, she's uh, got this. She's got this new music video she's working on. Check right. this out. Right, so dope. I'm looking forward to that. This shit dope. looks dope, right? Hell yeah. Yo, yeah, what up? Shout out to my boy LB Sickness. Just put out a song from the Frank Nitty Project, Project Born. Make sure you go check it out right now on YouTube. Yo, yeah, it's Riz BH. Put a crown on it. You're the only one I know. That can make me lose my cool Mama told me never hit the lady Look what I go and do You put the knife in me You lied to me We check each other's phones Such a toxic relationship But we both scared to be alone You're the only one I know That can make me lose my cool Mama told me never hit the lady Look what I go and do You put the knife in me You lied to me We check each other's phones Such a toxic relationship But we both scared to be alone Everybody called me the monster, I ain't no mobster, in life I wanna prosper This girl could win herself an Oscar, such a good liar, burn yourself in a fire Cause you said that you love me, I fall for dummy, you're taking my pride from me But now you're liking to sell real hell, it's time for your karma ring bells If I told everything I know, you know you would never come home I know all those lies you told, just a scared little girl all alone No fortitude, just a prostitute, used to sell your ass and your- Yeah, I like the way she rap Yeah, she's raw Mm-hmm I think I will. I, I hope that I will get a really good response at Raven Fest for sure, because only because I've met all the people, well, most of it, like 80% of the people performing there, I met last year already. And like we became re pretty decently like good friends on Facebook and stuff like that, keeping in touch with each other at the very least. And I posted some of my stuff and they were actually one of the only peoples that ever like you know reacted or responded as opposed to like my real friends like here like close by at home like they they reacted and responded first and they were like oh my god actually this shit's fire i can't wait to see her perform at raven fest with us i'm really excited about it so i've gotten a few of those already and so it's given me a good headspace to work with like okay so they're they're i don't think i'm gonna get booed off stage now you know i i've they've given me that comfort of listen you're fire. You're going to throw it down. This isn't really our style, but your shit's fresh. So just fucking put it down. Don't fucking choke. And it'll be great. Uh, that feels great. I know what that feels like. You know what I'm saying? And always remember that it's just going to keep growing. It's just going to keep getting bigger. It's There's nowhere for it to go but up unless you stop. For sure. Um, what's one word that? What is one word to describe who you are as a person? Hilarious, funny, a jokester. Humble. Okay, you could say that. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't describe myself that way, but I might be missing something. I mean, everybody can flip, man. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever watched the show Snapped? <laughs> yes, and I, I can't anymore with that show, but I used to be a big fan, yeah. Yeah. One message you would like to give everybody, the rest of the world that doesn't ride with you. Um, to, I don't uh, If I was really just tell anybody, it depends on what the subject is. I got a lot to say. Uh, uh, to people that don't vibe with me, like, 
if you don't know, you better act like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that answer. That's dope. I feel you. Um, go ahead and plug anything you got going on. Any, any shows coming up? Any? Yeah, definitely plugging in my show for Raven Fest too. There's a whole Facebook page event and everything for it. Um, and then Drowned Out is in charge of it, so you can hit them up about it too for ticket sales and things like that. If you can't find the page. I am performing there. It will be The Devil's Rejects featuring Serenity Gemini. And it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. My other show, May 8th, is going to be in Martinsburg, West Virginia. It's going to be a G39 production show featuring Spotlight Serenity Gemini. And also, don't forget to check me out over at Counterculture News Facebook page as Candy the Clown, where I dive deep into everything Hip hop, everything counterculture, and almost everything juggalo under the sun. Uh, I am like the last person, apparently, like on Facebook worth listening to that follows fagolovers.net. So check me out because I'm up on the latest news and I give it to you how it is and my cool ass opinions from the juggalo viewpoint. Word, woo, woo. Woo, woo. What's the best advice you've ever been given? Um, I think the best advice I've, I've ever been given is to keep living for what you love. Like, uh, whenever you feel like you don't want to live anymore or whenever you feel like you're really down and you just can't get out of this rut and that everything is pointless, just remember what you fell in love with and why you love life. Like what makes life worth living? Hold on to that and make that your reason to keep going. That's the best advice I've ever gotten. That's probably why I'm still here. What's your motivation to make music? My biggest motivation to make music is the fact that I don't have any juggalette rappers to listen to. All the female rappers that are dope in the game right now, like, yes, there are a few. There's, like, Whitney Payton. There's Snow the Product. There's a lot of underground female rappers but none of them are actually self-proclaimed juggalettes really involved and deep into the scene as i have been for so long i don't think they are and if they are they don't put it out there they're like not proud of it or something they're like ashamed of it so i think that was my motivation is because i want to hear somebody like that so i i started i kept waiting and it didn't happen so i was like i guess i'll be that fuck it word, word. And then my other motivation was also to get the fuck, like, fucking kill mumble rappers. Like, I, oh, like, I want to destroy mumble rappers in the game and just disintegrate the entire, like, little tiny little bubble genre they've created. And if I can steal it and then, like, make it fresh, put some juggalo in that bitch and make it something brand new, regurgitate it, I'll do that too. Fuck it. That's my motivation. A lot of people around my uh, city say that uh, True Styles and I uh, were the first people that they ever heard mumble rap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wasn't the one doing it. It was True Styles, but it was way back in the day. I'm doing this new thing that I don't know if it's going to be a hit or miss, but I'm doing this. I don't. I think it's new because I haven't heard it yet. Juggalo Trap. Doing like Juggalo Trap music right now. Just a couple songs, not like a whole album or anything, you know. That'd be overkill. But I just want to do it just to be like, yo, it can be done and it can be done well. Ouija Mac? Uh, it could be, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, fine. I'm talking like a little bit different. Female, a little bit female, different. female. Right, yeah. exactly. Female. There you go. All good. Because it's not that we don't have it. I don't, I don't know of anybody. Truth. Like, I hear all these, like, awesome female trap artists that come out, but none of them are juggalos. None of them come from the life I live. None of them understand my lifestyle, so it's hard to relate to. Word. Um, honestly, there's not... I could, I, I could probably, on one hand, female artists, period, that I honestly enjoy listening to. Um, it... it I don't know. I just, it, I'm a dude. I can't really relate to a female. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. And that's why I, I try to like, it, I try to keep that in mind too. When I make my music and my merch and uh, my album covers, I'm like, yo, I can't 
put this on there and make it sound like this because I do want some dudes to listen to my shit and no self-respecting dude is going to play a song called like Sparkle Glitter Unicorn Fairy. You know what I mean? Like I don't know any dudes that play the song WAP. I have not exactly. Met. So I'm not gonna name my song that. You know what I mean? Like, I think about that shit. It's all chicks that play that kind of shit, and it's usually like. And most of my friends are dudes, and most of my people on my team, all the people on my team that make music are all dudes. Like I'm the only female on my team, so they have to listen to my music, and they're like, if they have to replay that shit over and over trying to get that shit perfect. It's going to get really, they're going to get angry at me if it's like some straight, like, girly, girly shit. Like, they're going to be sick of it. They're going to be like, ew, Candy, I'm sick of this shit. Fuck this. I'm not putting it out. <laughs> you know, I just think about that kind of shit. Maybe it's not true. They probably wouldn't do that to me. It's just like in my head, I'm like, well, that's what I, I wouldn't. <laughs> Yo, is that little, uh, what the fuck's on your shirt? I know, I know. Yeah, that's dope as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's fresh. Thanks. It's um both of my favorite Chuckies on one shirt because I like the '80s Chucky and then I like the '90s Chucky, the Rugrats. You know, I grew, I'm a '90s kid. Grew up with Nickelodeon. All right, Hatchet Man too. That's dope. Ooh, ooh, uh, yeah, I just got this in the mail. It's my new one. My I old know. ones over there. I want to thank you for getting on. It's just music, and uh, I really I, I wish you success. And you know, like I said, it's it's just gonna keep growing, y'all. Keep at it. Well, thank you so much for having me. I really enjoyed this. I was looking forward to this for a while, so I'm glad we finally got to get it. Uh, I appreciate it, and thanks for the positive feedback too. I will give you some better shit to listen to every song. That's really that's really my goal for myself. So you're never gonna make everybody happy. Never. As long as my new song sounds better than my last song, I'll be happy. That's that, that's that's what matters right there right. as long as you're happy with what you do that's what matters yeah um don't don't let the negative comment on the show get get to you, you know, for, all right uh, all right i'll keep an open mind i can i can take constructive criticism it, i don't dog anybody it's not like i'm like fuck you this fucking chick sucks bro fuck you. right it'll be like you know legit stuff i get it no, no, it's dope. It's dope. Right. no hard feelings trust me i don't get easily offended anyway this is Candy the Clown, also known as Serenity Gemini, and you're watching It's Just Music with Sicko ENT. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. Thank you, yo. Of course, anytime. forget what I was about to do. What the fuck came out on Spotify today? Oh yeah, I remember. Check this out. You see I had Scum on the show the other day? Yeah. This I is dope. That. Oh, this is Scum here with Lyrical Snuff Productions out in Denver, Colorado. And you're watching It's Just Music, the signature series network. Fox with it. Support the underground. Thank you, man. Whoop, whoop. I appreciate you, bro. Whoop, whoop. LB Sick, Yeah. So this was just let out on Spotify on in all platforms, I guess. Um, it's a remake, it's a remix, whatever. Russell Burbank featuring LB Sickening, but if you look on all the other platforms, it's not named to that because I'm the one that put it out. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So I had to name it LB Sickening featuring Russell Burbank. Right. But it's really Russell Burbank fe featuring me. You know, whatever. Check it out. It's a month old, but it came out on Spotify today. Hell yeah. I 
of everyone and telling me I am wrong I'm sick and tired of all this pain inside I don't wanna live but I don't wanna die Things were so much easier when I was emotionless Still hopelessness and emptiness and isolated Sick of this, trying to find my way back home again So I can be alone again inside my mind It's hard to find everything I'm left behind But I'm moving on, I'm moving up, I'm moving now Sick and tired of living life within the shadow of a cloud Yeah, man. Uh, Hell yeah. If you watch the interview with Nick, we talk about how there was a few bands and shit that tried to remake that song, and they always told him no, and he fucking told me yes. I suck. What the fuck? Yeah, I do it. <laughs> what you mean? It's just dope. That shit dope as hell. I don't know, man. Pick one more. Normally, we play five. I told her I was going to play two of me, so... Choose one, and then we're done with the show. And then I can kick it with my Kenna's, because Kenna just came home. You want to come, come be on the rest of the show? I'm just going to play one of mine anyway. Play a soft one, one that's not so crazy. Oh, don't hit my mic, honey. Hey, Uncle. Say what's up to the peoples. How about that? You've been playing all day. Your shirt's all dirty. You take a bath. Mm. Mm. You're at school tomorrow, huh? Mm. I don't know which one to pick. Mm. I'm going to pick that one. I didn't start out yet. Yeah, you choose. No. Kenny, you want to choose? Yep, Kenny, yeah. choose. You want to choose one? Choose one of daddy's that you like. Choose one of daddy's songs that you like. Mommy. Mommy. You want to play I'm Not Having, or I Ain't Having That? LB Sickening, Breeze. LB Sickening, Spider and Bree. I Ain't Having That. Available on all platforms. Yeah, we're done with the show, honey. That's your last song. She said yes. I need to charge my phone. You need to charge your phone? Okay. Well, that's LB City making another like video. Like and subscribe. Yeah, well, she said like and subscribe. LB City making notification bell. Making another video for my sickos. <laughs> for daddy. <laughs> Say peace out, Ninja. And I'm out. Yeah, I got five kids in a house. An ex-wife that won't shut her mouth. Three babies I don't get to see. I got child support and they're bothering me. I got bills stacking high to the sill. I got a hoopty for a ride. This is how I feel. And I'm stuck in this town. Got nowhere to go. I really want to get out. I got new headphones. These headphones, they take me to a place so far away. And I just
travel every day, don't wanna come back unless that music stays. These headphones, they calm my nerves when I feel my like dirt or when I let somebody get hurt. Or when I wanna hurt myself when I'm just having one of them days. These, these, these headphones, they take me to a place so far away. And I travel every day, don't wanna come back unless that music stays. These headphones, they calm my nerves when I feel my like dirt or when I let somebody get hurt. Or when I wanna hurt myself when I'm just having one of them days. Another day that I wanna get high, responsibility's the reason why I can't, so I rap to this microphone, I'm climbing to the top, I'm gonna claim my throne, this is it, go E N T. What's up y'all, it's the motherfucking Shadow King. What's up man, it's your boy Liquid Assassin, man, I'm with Sick O-N-T. What up y'all, this is One Time. Yo, what's up, it's Cole Hill, aka Killer C. Yo, I'm Ratchet. Together with Just in case rap from Grandpa and you're watching It's Just Music on the Signature Series Network. And you're watching It's Just Music. It's Just Music. On Signature Series Network. West Coast representative, man. Signature Series. Signa Signature Series Network on Ro Roku TV. Man, you got a lot of words for a stoner, man. You got me tripping up in here. <laughs> You're watching is just music on Signature Series Network. LB, let it rock, baby. Here with LB. We out of here. East Coast, Shadow on me. Check him out, man. See for yourself, man. Catch some, catch some good vibes and some good waves, man. One time. This is Chiz, and I'm about.